Heart disease is the number one killer of men and women in the U.S. There are 17,000 heart failure admissions in the U.S. annually. It's the number one cause of death to cancer. It's number one to even gun violence. The Texas Medical Center was essentially the epicenter for cardiac surgical treatment around the world throughout the 60s, 70s, and into the 80s. Texas Heart Institute was founded in 1962 by Denton Cooley. He came to St. Luke's Episcopal Hospital and founded a kingdom of cardiovascular innovation for surgery and cardiology and education in clinical work and in clinical research. The Texas Heart Institute is an independent organization that has three pillars cardiovascular care, research, and education. And we do most of our, nearly all of our clinical work at the Baylor St. Luke's Medical Center. So it's a symbiotic relationship for sure. We need a place to practice and they provide a working hospital that's producing world-class outcomes. The VA Medical Center in Houston, um, its mission is to provide innovative, state-of-the-art care to our veterans. Harris County has the highest population of veterans uh, in the United States. There's 131,000 patients enrolled in healthcare at the Houston VA. This is actually the center where the, the first left ventricular assist device was implanted. Uh, that was implanted by Dr. Uh, Michael E. DeBakey, which the, the VA is named after. It's very important uh, to be able to provide a state-of-the-art care to our veterans. Heart failure is the number one diagnosis uh, on admission. It's the number one reason why uh, veterans are admitted to the hospital. In the 1960s, the first real advance in the treatment of heart disease was bypass surgery. The DeBakey and the Cooley Institutes performed more bypass surgeries in Houston, Texas than the entire European continent. Then we became a center of excellence for non-invasive cardiovascular procedures like angioplasty, stenting, here at the Texas Medical Center at Baylor College of Medicine, heart transplantation began in its infancy. It was here that the first successful heart transplant was performed by Dr. Cooley uh, many years ago. Since that time, we've tried to perfect the success rate of heart transplantation, which now exceeds 90% at uh, five to 10 years survival. But there just aren't enough hearts available to treat everyone who has a uh, end-stage cardiovascular disease. This center has been a great innovator of mechanical assist devices. Dr. Cooley, Dr. Frazier, Dr. Daniel Timms, and Dr. Billy Cohen have all been innovators in this field. They basically developed the first continuous flow pump, which is the fundamental technological advancement that led to the LVADs, which is assist devices for heart failure patients. It took an environment rich for innovation and trying things out. Doctors could be busy being clinical doctors for most of the day, and then they could go into a lab in the basement where we were testing out valves, heart failure treatments, pumps in hearts. Over the years, we've continued to try to innovate to make things less and less invasive. We have ways of treating patients with valvular disease now that uh, were not even thought of 20 or 25 years ago. We're doing about 360 aortic valve replacements a year here by the catheter-based technique. There's no incision in the chest and they go home the next day. Right now, we're working and on the verge of implanting the first successful mechanical heart uh, that could potentially take over the need for heart transplantation in the future. 40 years of innovation, which is about to be manifest in a groundbreaking technological advance that we're very hopeful will improve the lives of our patients. Houston is the most diverse city in America. So if you want to do research, 
on diverse populations, you don't have to go far. We're involved in incredibly innovative research in pacemaker technology. They're using nanotubes. It will absolutely change the way pacemaker technology is used. We've been a stem cell and a regenerative medicine center looking at how the heart rebuilds itself and how you can encourage the reformation of a heart and improve its repair mechanisms. You know, most of the research in this building has really been targeted at artery disease patients, but women have a proclivity for very unusual non-atherosclerotic vascular disease. And so studying those types of illnesses is a target of the research that's being done at the Women's Center here at the Texas Heart Institute. Since I began in medical school many years ago, I always understood that the Texas Medical Center was the place to go for cardiovascular treatment. And as an educator and a surgeon, it dawned on me eventually that this would be the place that I would want to practice and help those uh, internationally that are afflicted with cardiovascular disease. My heart is in this place. I care about the people here. I care about the patients profoundly. I want to make this the best hospital in the world. I want to do everything I can to contribute to that mission that Dr. Cooley founded in 1962.